Hello and welcome. I am the Student Tie Dip and Shoe Guy, and this is the series number eight wrap up. Okay, so series number eight was the outlaw line from Tough Guy Chew. And there were some problems, but we'll run through the products first. The first one I did was the most recent release, and that was the Southern Sweet Tea. It was excellent, it was different. It was good. Nicotine was there. Everything was good. And that's pretty much how it was for all of these. Okay, quality packaging, quality product. Um, nicotine level was good. Uh, flavor was good. Smell was good. But then there was a problem after that one, and there is video addressing that in the playlist after it. The product almost immediately upon opening began going bad. Not good obviously, but I'll address that after I get through the next three. So the number two product was Lucky Lipper. It was the only one out of the four that I had experience with, and it was as I expected. Another really good product, uh, tasted good, smelled good, nicotine was definitely there, packaging was good. Uh, Lucky Lipper, for those not familiar, is a Mountain Dew flavored dipping tobacco. It's actually chew, but it, 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 it's used as dip. Uh, number three was the second release from Outlaw, but it was number three on mine because I was working my way back. That was Badass Bourbon. I'm not a fan of bourbon or alcohol flavored tobacco products, but I could definitely see if that was your thing that you would absolutely love this. I mean, it was done well. I, not for me, but I can I can even say that it was done very well. It was, I, I don't know if I mentioned this during the review, it was a very sweet bourbon, okay? Um, again, usual quality packaging. Smell, if you like bourbon, was good. Taste, if you like bourbon, was good. Nicotine was definitely there. Um, all in all, all of these juiced up and spit very well if you're interested in that. So that brings us to number four, which I just did in the last hour, and that was Wild Watermelon. That was like a watermelon Jolly Rancher blowing up in your face. And I'm not really exaggerating. Um... <laughs> That, that basically sums it up as well. Again, quality packaging, good taste, good smell. Another thing I'm not really big on, watermelon, but it was done well. If you like watermelon, then you should probably give that a try. And as with others, you know, the nicotine was there. It spit well, juiced up well, quality packaging. You know, the whole the whole thing was good. The whole experience was good except for the souring of the first review. Um, basically, Outlaw Dip is made by Tough Guy Chew. Um, they are actually small batch made. And Tough Guy sort of prides themselves on using very little like harsh preservatives chemicals, which is fine. I get it. And I can even appreciate that. That said, uh, when I opened the Southern Sweet Tea for the first review and put it in, it was good. I mean, what I put in was good, but as soon as I had opened that can, basically the product started going bad. As soon as it hit open air. Now, I have had stuff from them go bad before when I left it too long, like a couple weeks, even sealed. It went bad. I even, as I explained in a couple videos back, tried freezing some of their stuff one time, deep freezing it. Still didn't work. 30 days, they say, use it or lose it. And they're, they're serious. All right? But all of that's one thing. When you got 30 days and you got warning of that 30-day mark, that's, that's, you know, okay, whatever. When you're opening a product up and 120 minutes later it smells like ammonia, 
I got a problem with that. Maybe it's just me, but <laughs> I got a problem with that. So, you know, if, if it's going like that, the only thing I can say if I was to address tough guy Chu would be that maybe it is time to start using some preservatives. The other issue, and I did not bring this up, um, I contacted the company that day, which was New Year's Day, I believe, um, or New Year's Day night, going into the second. I contacted them. So that was, what, three days ago, going on four days ago now? Uh, there has been no reply. So I'm thinking in my head, like, what's going wrong? Because, you know, the, half the website has the products removed, and the other half are listed as sold out. And the outline, outlaw, rather, line just got back in stock. So this is what's going, what I'm thinking is going on. Let's say you had, to make this simple, let's say five dip products. And you had a big pot for each one of them. All right? And you made them daily, each one in each pot. Well, Outlaw decides and the ownership of Tough Guy decide that they're going to release this sweet tea. And they know the demand's going to be high. And they know the sales from that are going to far exceed any sales of the five they're already making. So although they've gotten a six pot, a, a number six pot for the number six product, they switch all six pots over to making the product that they are sure is going to sell quickly. And really what that is, is them trying to cash in quick as possible, as much as possible, short term, to hell with the long term, to hell with long term ideas of customer base and whatnot. Let's get it in now. And the rest of the line suffers, of course. And then the company begins to suffer because even the product that they've switched all six of those pots over to, that one's not even key. So now you got basically half your company is sold out. We're missing from the website altogether. And the product that you've put all that on hold for is not turning out well. So now, now it's like, so that's what I'm thinking, right? And I'm like, you know what? I don't know if I want to put that forth. Maybe that's too harsh. I don't know that for fact. This is what, you know, I'm putting together in my head. Although it makes sense, it may not be true. I'm sort of going on that idea about, you know, cashing in as quickly as possible by the way Outlaw puts himself across. But really, at the end of the day, Tough Guy is just taking his name and putting it on their product. I mean, Outlaw's not actually, probably has very limited say in what's going on here. And then, as I'm thinking all this, somebody pops up in a comment section and says, are you going to be doing their peppermint? And I'm like, they don't have a mint. And then I'm like, oh, wait a minute. They do now. Outlaw, uh, sorry, the Tough Guy line of Tough Guy Chew now has a peppermint, brand new release. So I guess that answers any questions whether, you know, peach will be in stock anytime in the near future or the winter green or anything. You know what I mean? It's like, guys, you, you got you to gotta get control of your house before you start building additions, okay? <laughs> if, if, if you have a house that's, you know, four bedroom, if you can't control the four bedroom house, don't start building extra bedrooms onto it type deal. Anyway, I realize this may be a little bit too forward for some people. It's just the way I think this is going down. And it's a shame because they put out a good product. At the end of the day, it's a good product. It's a different product. Their dessert dips, I can't see dipping any of their stuff on a daily basis. But, I mean, they're not in, they don't seem to me to be balancing their 
short-term and long-term goals very well. Let me put it that way. I guess that's the, the less abrasive stance. Their long-term and short-term goals, they're not, they're not being balanced. All right? So they make really good stuff. It's really tasty. It has great nicotine content. The packaging is, you know, quality. And I would normally say you got to try this, but I can't because I don't want to tell anybody to run out and get this stuff and then have them get bad cans or their order get lost. About a month before Christmas, people put in orders. This is the other thing. Not me personally, but they put in orders and then the orders never showed up for weeks on end, like weeks and to make it worse, when they emailed about their orders not showing up, nobody responded. So it's like, you know, I, it's growing pains, hopefully. That's the, the extent of it, and they will work their way through it, and the company will be better for it. I just hope they don't burn themselves in the process. So, no, I would not go out of my way to order any of this at this time. Um... The whole tough line, guy line could magically appear on the website tomorrow in stock. And to tell you the truth, I would not, I would not do the series right now until something gets sorted out. I'm not sitting through a nine product series or whatever it is now, not knowing what the next day is going to bring. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll do, I'll do Copenhagen's pouches. I know that'll be all right. You know what I mean? So. Really good stuff, in conclusion. Really good stuff. Makes all the checks. Everything gets checks on it, except for you don't know if the product's going to be okay when it arrives. Hate to put it that way, but that's that's the bottom. That's that's the brass tacks there. That's, that's the way it is, right now, anyway. Hopefully, it, it won't be like that for long. Anyway, guys... I am going to be just putting out a video of what's coming up as news because I was going to do it as part of this video, but there's just there's too much stuff to talk about. Um, so do take care of yourselves, and as always, God bless.